and welcome to Mommy Diaries. For those who have followed my journey, Latseba, after having Nema, I started a movement called Mommy Diaries, where mothers come together and we talk about all things motherhood. So, the podcast is more fashion, and let me try this podcast thing and bring this platform to a different place. So, I have my besties, Mampo and Homozo, and we will be talking about their journey and all things motherhood. Chamis, welcome. <laughs> Bestie. <laughs> so, I want you guys to introduce one another because I get really shown. Hey. Yes. Yeah, so, Mampo, introduce your friend. Komoto, <laughs> which one, you or her? Yes, <laughs> which bestie. <laughs> These are both my best friends. Yeah. Komoto Christopher and Basi. There's her name. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. She's the lead here. She's the in lead. This show. Yes. Um, what else do you want to know about yourself? Uh, yeah. We are She's, mothers. We're mothers. mothers. We are yes. mothers. Yes. 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 Yeah. Right. Y'all are young. Mothers. Mm -hmm. So see, she is our senior mom. Yeah. So Nakali Visoke Komoto. Christopher, yes. <laughs> that's so, my bestie. I'm gonna drink Mom to the senior. <laughs> cheers to me. Cheers. Cheers, mommy diary. Cheers, mommy diary. Cheers, cheers, mommy diary. Okay. Cheers. But Bluetooth. Okay, let's also talk about this whole thing. Everywhere I go, especially when I'm with Mampo, Komoto, mm. Komoto. Let's address the elephant in the room. When you look at yourself in the mirror, Are you um, about Mampo. Me? No, I'm kidding. When you look and at like, yourself in the mirror. And like, are you talking to Mampo? <laughs> Today, <laughs> who's who? Let's address who's it. Who? Can we just address yes. that? Yes, who is Homozo? Who is Mampo? Because every time eh. I'm with you, Baro Mampo. Eh. And every time I'm with her. Bare. Yeah, so when, when you look at yourself in the mirror, do you see her or vice versa? No. I no. see me. <laughs> <laughs> Why do people say you look alike? Um... I don't know. Why do they we don't. We, we actually don't yeah. know why. Yeah. Yeah. I think that possibly because when people encountered us in our careers, yeah. we had similar roles. Yeah, we possibly yeah. resembled, which is actually when we first met. Yes, we did a cover shoot, which we thought would dispel that myth that we're the same person. Person, it made it yes. worse. It's getting worse yes. and worse. And worse. Yeah. I think yes. it, it's going to change because I'm a lot rounder now. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. I, they'll be able to yeah. differentiate. Yes. Let's also talk about sisterhood. I right. called you guys here because you're my friends, we're sisters, and our you know our friendship is so beautiful and powerful. Yeah. You guys go to the same when you go for auditions, you mm. go for the same role. Right. Yes. You know, when it comes to friendships, you always people are jealous. Hey, I also want it. How do you how are you still friends? But every time when you go to auditions, obviously you go for the same role. For me, it's different. I, 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 I'm sure I'll play your daughter so one day. Wow, <laughs> Basi, joking. you went there. You went there, afraid. <laughs> you totally did. <laughs> wow. Oh, um, for me personally, jealousy is useless. Yeah. There's no point to it. Yeah. Um, also, I think that what's meant for you will never escape you. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and I think I have more fun, more pleasure mm. in supporting my yeah. friends right. and yeah. wanting to celebrate them. I think I'm the best hand clapper you there are. is. Yes. Um, yes you are. It brings me great joy. Yes. Mm. And I think that when you are maybe blinded by jealousy, you don't realize that you're blocking your blessings. Absolutely. So because it's energy, right? Yeah. 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 So and within that sisterhood is that yeah. understanding that the same reason that's put us together today yeah. is to support a sister. Yeah. Yeah. We support each other's dreams yes. as sisters. We're in the same industry, yeah. but um, what's meant for us is meant for us. Mm -hmm. It will come when it's meant for mm -hmm. you. And so it's easy to help each other for the same auditions, yep. to yeah. read for each other. Yeah. Because if you get it, if I get it, it was meant for me. Yeah. I don't hold that jealousy or I don't have that type of um, animosity because yeah. we are sisters who are building each other yep. in whichever ways we can, mm. yeah. which is why mm. today we're here yeah. to celebrate you yes. and Mommy Diaries. Absolutely. Yes. Now let's talk yes. about motherhood. Let's talk about, you know, like Rebanyana, at, at once upon a time, we were little girls. Yeah. Let's talk about our childhood. Take mm. me through your childhood, mom. Why are we all laughing? And you know, like, as, have a little bit me. Like, mm. uh, there's some of the things that I do, and I realize, oh, look, I'm speaking to Nema the same way as my mom used yeah. to speak yeah. to me. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Hocha yeah. Hocha, some of the things that I learned from her that I'm continuing. So let's talk about our 
about childhood? Um, you know, I had a fantastic mom. Yeah. Fantastic. To the point where my psychiatrist said, it, I'm delusional, that there's no one that perfect. Can we laugh? <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, she made it look so easy yeah. that I was shell-shocked when I had a kid because I was like, what, what? in the heck? Yeah. This right. is what she did? Um, and I, I think... For the, for the most part, I had such a beautiful childhood because of her, yeah. her nurturing, her, um, she was a teacher. She was a great teacher. Mm -hmm. So um, if I could be a pinky of how great she was, I would have succeeded in this life thing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I think they made it look easy. They did. Mm. And they had I like five kids. I, I, when are you like, struggling? Ga right. Ga iwan. Like yeah. they had um, less time with us. They had yeah. less money than we have. Yes. No, we're not rich. We're actors. But we never got to feel. Are we, are we still actors? Shh. That's for a different podcast. <laughs> It's a so, different podcast, yes. <laughs> what I was saying is that they somehow managed to balance things. Yeah. And I think as modern parents, that's our struggle. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. when we look at our challenges, I always say when I look back at my childhood is, yes. right. that's much less. Yes. Obviously a socio, political, economic system that was completely different against to what hey? against all yeah. of that. Mm. Somehow we had happy childhoods. Mm. Somehow no mm. Somehow you didn't go to sleep or snadijo. But yeah. and they still managed to balance. Mm. Yeah. And so I think for us as modern parents, that is the challenge. We ask ourselves, why are we feeling like we're struggling, struggling yeah. when we have it so easy? Yeah. We have it yeah. so easy. Yeah. And so I think it's about um, having those conversations mm. with ourselves to say in this system and in this lifetime for ourselves as parents, what can we do that our parents did to make them cope? Yes. What are our coping strategies? Yeah. And I think we are lacking. For me, I feel as modern parents, that's what we're lacking in. Yes. Yeah. The yes. world has changed. The system has changed. Mm. We have yeah. a lot more than our parents did. But somehow our coping mechanisms had it in. Yeah. Now, is it because we don't have coping mechanisms or the fact that they were not coping, but they were shutting, shutting down yes, yeah. yes, and not that. And speaking, speaking about yeah. their struggles. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah. I think also we've kind of forgotten our, um, that whole it takes a village type thing. Right. Because now we live in these um, mm. high wall yes. uh, homes. We shut ourselves away. Yeah. We don't know our neighbors. Right. Yeah. Um, and so I think that's why it is of profound importance to have a sisterhood. A sisterhood, yeah. Um, mm. you, you know, because then you have a sounding board. Mm. Right. You have um, right. just that. that right. 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 Yeah. And there are times when you're like, right. oh, yes. 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 Now, between the three of us, back in the day, we were next door. Yeah. Now, it's us because yeah. also Harasa trust that and I guess so yeah. gets more okay if you're here who anti basi or anti mampo retreat yes well this is yes so the circle That's, is becoming smaller the community yeah. is becoming smaller true as right. a little girl true. have you always wanted to be a mom or like a mom a wife or it just happened no not as a little girl I did I, I did not I was very selfish <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I didn't even think I'd get really married, selfish. you know. Really? Yeah. Um, I just didn't see it, you know. Mm. Um, but when I did get married, um, fortunately for me, I, <laughs> I, wanted, I wanted a manifestation of that love. Yeah. Right. And that's why, that's what propelled me to, or felt, made me feel compelled to have a child. A child, yeah. 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 Because I think it's also imperative to love something bigger than you. You know? Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Come yeah. on, have you always? When are you look like I, now? I always look. I look, I, I'm always. <laughs> I knew shocked. it. <laughs> I know you know me. To me, yeah. <laughs> I think for me, the configuration wasn't about marriage or whatever. But I just always, I loved kids from yeah. a young age. And for me, yeah. it surprises me that people who knew me at a very young age, they always say, eh, ah, nah, nah, yes. they always say that they're like, yes. so you know, know me and yeah. Her yeah. Same, yeah. yeah. So I guess, yeah, yes. I always, I just always loved kids. Um, But, you know, having 
loving kids and having kids is different. different. It's very different. Like, yes. Yes. So now I remember when I was young, we used hey. to play a game. I used to play a game where we would cut out things from news, magazines, like a car or oh, yes. a couch. Yes. And then you paste, you what paste, you like paste. Which ones will be bigger? Well, now it's called one vision board. Oh, oh. Now it's called one vision board. 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 As a little girl, you paste, and then you, you will see a lady who is very nice on the magazine. Yeah. And then you cut, you cut, and then you what paste. Cut. And then you cut, and then you cut, and then you cut, and then you cut, you cut, you cut the guy, you paste, and you get the meal. You guys were advanced rates. I know. We're going to get some. 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 I'm big, so, yes. yes. So, how is uh, the magazine? Why yes. pick a color? Yes. How is the pick? Like color? Yeah, color. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so now I used to play that game. But I know yes. now one. Like, like we always wow. have this conversation yeah. that yeah. I've never really planned or okay, well, one day I I'm want four have, kids. Yeah. Even me, it's just like obviously when you're married, you're like, man, ish. Yeah. And I got a dog, and then the dog was not enough, so I was like, ah. And that's how that's how. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's different. It, it's different. <laughs> right, right, yes. right. So also we on a we different stages like Rainy's yeah. ten, yeah. Nema is six, yeah. Back out sixteen, sixteen, sixteen and fourteen. And fourteen. You were fast, girl. Aibo. <laughs> Let's talk about that because I know hey. my my journey is still different because right. Nema Osale Munyani hey. and I'm learning a lot from you guys because your your kids are much older. Right, right now I'm still yeah. dealing with you We're know. We're not dealing with Kadi ten, ten times. Time. I was about to say. I'm it. dealing with um um choosing the right school. Right. I'm dealing with um you know just from Now you're already hey. not halfway there of course, but like you're already hey. almost there. Yeah. So let's talk about mm. our different stages. Like how is it going being a mother to a ten year old? Mm. I think it's so much better <laughs> than in the beginning. <laughs> yes, which is where you are. Because how do you communicate, Lebon? Yeah. Because yes. vocabulary, yes. language, yes. communication yes. changes it's, with each stage. stage. Yeah. Which is fantastic about us But having, when you look at me, don't you miss the smaller stage? Like, well, you don't. I do. Come on, does, I know. I know. Oh, wow. <laughs> I do. Why yeah. don't you, Mampo? It's hard work. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, my God. Like, you have to literally be fully invested now she's a lot more independent she can communicate mm. um she wants to hang with her friends mm. so that gives me time for me but in the beginning and i think also it, it comes with first child syndrome mm. you're so protective yeah you don't want to like you know for a moment miss a beat yeah so i found it exhausting <laughs> yeah, it is awesome. um and like i said motherhood taught me how selfish i was Right. And how selfless you have to be yeah. in order to cultivate mm. um, the necessary skills for this child to actually function in society and to be a good human, yeah. uh, mentally, emotionally mm. balanced and stable. Mm. So th there was a lot of investment. I mean, not that it stops. Yes. It's just different. It's different. It's yeah. different. Yeah. 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 And they always say that. Yeah, they always say that. So when you have a little one, a little baba, and you're holding them, and you're going to Papa Chino's, you see the toddlers, you're like, oh, Jehovah. I can't wait. I can't wait I until I feel like it's amazing. Yes. Now you're worried. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So, every stage, Jehovah. Yeah. 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 And you have to deal with it. Yeah. 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 And then right. that means Jorge, if they're their own people, you've done well as a parent. Yeah. Yeah. Because that is what the ultimate goal of parenting is, yeah. is to help to navigate a child to become their own person. Yeah. And so what happens in teenagehood is that you sit back, you're like, Ish, I did create this person. an own person. Yes. yes. Because yeah. they are their own person. Yeah. They are able to articulate themselves. Mm. They have their own opinions. They, they have their own views. They now. reprimand you. Yeah. Mm. And so it becomes very important, um, which is what we were talking about earlier on, Hori, the way we are raised and the way we were raised, mm. it starts coming in, Hori, hangwana abu asolinna. I can't reprimand in this way because una le right. They are ultimately they are also human. Yeah. They might be that's why we call them little people. Yeah. They're people. Yeah. They have opinions. Yeah. They've got the right to say umaga. 
back in the day when never, we grew up, you could never umaka. Yes. There you go. So all those things start to come into play where you're mm. like, okay, wah, they're expressing themselves because mm. we want to raise children who are expressive, right. who come to you first about anything that's happening in their and life. And who are thinkers. Mm. And so what happens yeah. is that if you've raised a child well, who's a thinker, who can express themselves, mm. if that has come together in teenagehood, Ta-da! Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. The project has worked. Yeah. They are expressive. Yeah. They tell you what oh, they feel. Yes. They tell you where you are wrong yes. and you've yeah. got to go back and say, I'm sorry, I apologize. Yes. It's not the way we were raised. raised. And so yeah. that's the journey yeah. I'm walking now. Let's yeah. talk about that because I'm some, sometimes I struggle with that because like you're saying, I grew up not being able to say, I'm sad. Right. I don't want to play. Yes. I don't want to sit. I, like right now, it's like I'm in between where I grew up knowing that I want to know what's let's work on your feelings. Mm. Right now, they even do stuff like eat you, go school, where they teach them about how to be in tune with wow. your feelings. Wow. And then I would say, she, we had this conversation the other day. Mom was like, what the hell? How's that bad? How bad? And then hey, come play ah. with other kids. Yeah. She wow. doesn't want to. And we grew up, I grew up. Mom, I don't... I don't, I don't want to go there. I'm sad. Right. Some days I didn't feel like going there and playing the drums. <laughs> but you like it or not, <laughs> and sometimes I didn't feel like doing it. But yeah. right now it's like, oh, Nema, you don't want to do it? You don't want to go to that restaurant? Okay, yes. fine. Yes. So uh, like, I sometimes struggle. <laughs> exactly. I think it's about, once again, balance. Balance, yeah. Right, because um, I, <coughs> why don't you want to do that? Yeah. And they and they can give you a, a, a reason that is good enough or satisfactory, mm. but you don't allow laziness, for example. Right. You know, um, sometimes Rainey's like, oh, I don't feel like doing this anymore. I'm quitting. I'm like, no, no. you chose it. You're yeah. going to see it through yeah. and you're going to do it with, at the be, you know, to the best of your ability. Yeah. Right. Then next term we'll figure out something else, but mm. you're not going to just like chop and change like mm. that because then you don't have somebody, you have somebody that's non-committal mm. that doesn't know how to like, cause you can't live your life by your feelings. Feelings are giddy. They mm. change mm. every day. So there's instilling that discipline, that sense of, okay, I have to finish this. I've got to do this. Sometimes they don't want to do their homework. Mm. Mm. And mm. I always tell them like, Baby girl, the future is yours. I can't live it for you. Mm. So mm, if you don't yeah. invest in yourself by doing these things that you don't feel like Absolutely. doing, do you think Dada feels like going to work? Mm. Do you think I feel like waking up at a million o'clock taking you to school? I don't feel like it. Yeah. But you I have do to it. do it. Yeah. Right. Mm. Yeah. So it's that it's striking that balance. It's that that balance. Yeah. It's hard yeah. because our parents didn't have to um, negotiate that balance. No. It was one way. I think there's a saying that says you... You spare the rod, you spoil the, the child. child. Yes. Right. And, you know, we know we were not spared the rod. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Hey. Let's talk about discipline. How do you discipline, How do you discipline hey. Rainy? Um, can I tell you, honestly, for me, I had to, I put her in time out only twice her whole life. What is time out? Um, she had been tantruming for no good reason. I mean, not that they ever have a good reason. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I dragged her into the bathroom. Okay. Because it's a, it's a, it's a neutral space, and I held a wooden spoon in my hand. Mm. I never hit her, and I said to her, "Listen, do you understand why I'm holding this guy?" Mm. <laughs> and she was like more terrified. <laughs> Oh, by man. that, just that interrogation. Yeah. Yeah. Then and again, being smart. Need to mm -hmm. really. there's this look your mom gives you. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I still know that look. Even I now. I also know that look. I, even now, you're like, right. Yeah. Okay, Eric, it was. You're like, it took me two of those. Eric, it took me two of Yeah. It took me two of those. And the minute I'm like Rain Madison, yeah. she knows. Mm. So mm. it's become, and it was, it was hard because her father spoils her. Yeah. He was too, you know, he, 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 Kimi. She's a girl. Yeah. Mm. And so he, he didn't want to like be harsh or whatever. Yeah. So I had to be the disciplinarian and I had to right. have a really firm hand in that. Mm. Um, so, but it worked. It worked. Right. Those two, like just two trips to the, to the bathroom, bathroom with the wooden spoon. <laughs> it, was um, it was done. Like it, I've never had, had to discipline to her that. again. And it's, yeah. I think also what's important to say, especially motherhood um, you guys obviously are moms to one one. One one. Yeah. Yes. one, one. You've got two. Every child is different. is different. And so discipline is different to each to each yes. child. 
Which so, is why I stopped at one. Which is why it's just, ah, I love that. Which was so <laughs> she stopped at one. So, so the way I discipline yeah. Larona is not the way I will discipline, discipline Lisika. Lisika. Yeah. And also, every stage, yeah, chincha. Right. 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 Because as I'm saying, yeah. to answer back, etc. Mm. But at a certain stage, you can't, there's certain things, like you're saying, ki, ki, stick, si, mm. it, it, it represents, or now we need order. Yeah, well, yeah. Now we're big enough to be able to talk to you, say, you know why that's not right? right. Mm. Do you know? Okay, this is not right. Why? Why? Okay. So, discipline mm. through communication because mm. we're now intellectually at a different stage. Right. Yeah. I think the stages um, when the kids are younger is harder because yeah. you can't reason with the three-year-old. No. Yeah. You just cannot. Mm. Yeah. And so it becomes harder. So mm. basically every stage um, needs a different type of disciplining mm. and every child is very different. Mm. Yeah. And so for me, for my kids, it's very simple at the stage because it's a matter yeah, of saying, anyone. okay, oh, you were supposed to have this at that. It's not happening anymore. Oh, you didn't yep. do this. You're not getting yep. the, your allowance. Yeah. Oh, what well, is that? Now we can negotiate. Yeah. Well, yeah. is, and do you, how hey. do you discipline? Nema? Exactly. Oh. Hey. 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 Little Miss Back Chatter. Yo. Yes, girl. Nema, like, I don't want to lie. I'm struggling. Yeah. The other day, um, she didn't want to eat veggies. Yes. Like, back in the days, I could force. One move, yes. And yeah. then I go in. Right now, no, it's, she's struggling with um, chronic constipation. And I'm like, Nema, you need to eat um, veggies. You well, need to eat... Yes, um, yes, um, yes, yes, uh, yes. Okay. And then why? So, I'm like, I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. She was screaming. And I'm like, you will never go to your friends again. I will go. So, I'm not going to sit here and say, I got it right. I'm struggling because obviously, you know what I mean? And there was a time where she cut my wig because she hates my wigs. She cut my wig and then give me a shape. No, that's the time give her a time. She tells you. Give me a shape. No. I love it. Why would you do that? Yeah. 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 The question you're asking me, Mampo, I don't want to, I'm not going to say, Chekere, I got it right. I, I'm struggling because every time, Kere, Nema, mm. how size you divide it? How? Hey. You're not going to go to read because she enjoys reading class. Oh. She's like, I will go. Marang's oh. mom will come pick me up. <laughs> what do I do? So maybe give me advice on what to do because I'm struggling. Mm. And I'm not, I keep on saying, because like hey. you're saying, yeah. she's still yeah. young. Hey. And this is the, the right time for her right. to start understanding the importance of like not talking back like that eh. and also listening to me. So you go back into saying, hey, how are you doing? Like you, I think with every attempt, mm. you get better. And I think it's important to recognize the effort that you're putting in and not to feel defeated. Yeah. Because um, she's strong-willed. Yeah. You know, and you don't want to break that, that, right. that spirit. Yeah. I think take things away from her. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, be like, well, if you're going to behave like this, you're not going to have this. Yeah. And allow her to scream, you mm. know. Mm. It's okay. Scream. Scream mm. all you like. But it's not going to change until your behavior until changes. Mm. And I love that because um, as much as we are modern parents and our lives are different, yeah. our parents would say, Ukala. How limad. How limad. Yeah. 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 To teach us that lesson. To yeah. say, Ukala. Yeah. This lesson you must learn in this way. Yeah. yeah. Mm. You're not crying blood. And so it's important to say, how about the whole to what this is so and, and I think Banabarona they're very smart. They're a lot smarter than we were, I yeah. think. And so, especially in our industry, yes. they know our profiles. Yes. And so we in shops and they want to throw tantrums because they know people like, oh, but you're going to check us. Yeah. Anxiety. Yes. In Zomnia. Yes. 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 In Zomnia. Yes. 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 Yeah, like no, no. It's hard. Yes. You can throw the tantrum. We had saved and then enough for this, what you're buying, and you can't buy it. We'll save, we'll come back later. So, in general, not just obviously just our kids. Kids are, that's the whole way their brains are wired yeah. in order for them to they, grow they, and they, develop. They push boundaries. They're mm, smart. They yeah. have to push boundaries. Yeah. And mm. we've got to know when to push back, when to let go, and when to just be like, yeah. And what's that one lesson you learned from Mama? Elon Horowitz, Lisa, raising Larona Lilisika. 
I think for me, um, growing up in a childhood where I didn't have much. Yeah, I didn't have much, but my parents did the best for me. Mm-hmm. It's the one thing that I always wanted to instill with my kids to say, just because go next door, but I say, I say, I say, it doesn't make you less than. Absolutely. My kids are proud of who they are. Yeah. They're proud of the little they have, mm. or they're also aware that they have more than other kids. Mm. I learned that from my mom because my mom would say, you know what, you go to these schools because we've made sure you go to these schools, but we've sacrificed. Mm. Yeah. But don't be ashamed of where you come from. Mm. So my kids are very clear. They are very clear about where they come from and they're proud. And just because they may not be in the same position as other children or other people, just like in life, Mm. but always be proud of your background, of your upbringing, of your history, where you are today. I always um, instill that in my kids. And you learned that from mama. I learned that from my mom. And mom, Paul? Um, For me, I think it was love, that love covers a multitude of sin. Mm. Mm. Sins and um, I was deeply loved, mm. and so it is for me something that exudes so freely and so easily. Mm. And it was something that I wanted to preserve in my life mm. is to have love because my mom taught me the purpose for being on this planet yeah. is to love and be loved in mm. return. Mm. And so it's 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 just what I want in my life is mm. love. Um, and what I teach my child is mm. to love mm. and to respect love mm. and mm. also to want to be loved mm. and loved in the way God intended to be loved mm. so that it's not warped so that, you know, you know, you're not going to go out there, get weird ass friends or a weird ass yeah. husband, you know, yeah. and she witnesses how much her father loves us mm. on a daily. And so I think when you go out into the world, it will prevent so many issues mm. if you understand truly what love is. And the Bible tells us what love is yeah. and how to identify it. Um, so that that I learned from my yeah. mom, who I'm apparently very delusional about. <laughs> her perfection. And you, Masi, <laughs> what did you learn from Masi? Oh, um, <laughs> Masi, pig. Masi, pig. I think, <laughs> tapelo. Like, uh, Nema, even now when I'm sick, she prays for me. Oh, <laughs> yeah. She pick us and say, Mama, oh, okay. please God, Mama. I love sleeping on my bed. So she would pray and say, Mama, can she get out of that bed? Oh. And one thing, I, I think the same as you, I learned at a very young age, we, I'm a yeah. because Lena, I grew up with nothing. And understanding her, I went to Evda, and Evda is a film school where everybody had everything. The yeah. parents are rich. Yeah. I learned that at a very young age, Hore, it's important to understand that house nanny. How yeah. nang and doesn't change who you are, right. and I think I'll I'll do that with Nemat because I grew up with nothing, sure. and I learned very early mm-hmm. you know all these kids have everything, and I had nothing. There was a time where um, this other um, chick was eating chips. Mm. I was so hungry. Nice. <laughs> so I know you're gonna laugh. I knew you were gonna laugh. I was so oh my God. hungry, ne? And then we do to call in the bag it's a play area. Male monkey lunch. Male man waja and then they're eating. I'm I'm like, oh my god, even go my commune, go my room, there's nothing. So oh jadi chipsy. And then kabana di muborile, ne? Oh too much salt in here. I can't really buy a mampo. Wow. So much salt in here. I don't know what you can do. And then Udila does be me. No. I want it. If there was nobody there, Nikito Yako does be new to take them out and eat. Wow. It was so hard. And nah, when I look at Nema, that's why I would, we had this conversation. There is no way in hell I would just not work. I have to work because I, I'm scared of poverty because yeah. I know it. Yeah. And every time I look at Nema, I'm like, God, help me to be able to provide for this child because I had nothing. I don't want Nema to be Coco Vets or Coco go you of sin and Udu Timul or somebody throwing like chips. Hadith. And I know my mother is so weak and so it's just mm. in my MO. Like but here I am. I want to change that. Look at you now, girl. Look at, Look at you now, now girl. Look at you now, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so now let's also talk about the struggle. Someone is watching out there. They're pregnant. Mm. By expecting mm. we Social media has a way of making motherhood look so glamorous. Mm. But the truth of the reality is the other boob is licking. 
Mm. We don't post that. Yeah. We post yeah. that the nice things about. You shouldn't post that. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so let's. Someone is out there watching and bubble milling, and mm. they 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 don't know what to expect. They scared. Mm. Right. What What would you say? What advice would yeah, you give you them? Gosh, it's the worst situation. Sorry to say, but 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 because my kids blessed me, mm. you know. But I know out there, Hori, parents and moms struggle with, like, your body weight change. Yeah. I really did not have that. Um, my body just worked for me, you know. Mm. Breastfeeding, that's what I did. That's all I did. It yeah. worked out. Yeah. But I think what I can say is that your motherhood journey is yours. Yeah. Because as we have our own journeys as mothers, there will be so many people about are you breastfeeding? Did you have a C-section? Did you do this? Mm-hmm. The most important thing is that, you know, it's your journey. And um, don't take that on because it's so easy in that transition mm. from being a person who doesn't have a child to being a mother yeah. to take on all these pressures from mm. people. There's a lot of pressure. There's pressure about your body changes. There's mm. pressure about, you know, you gained weight. There's pressure about your child not breastfeeding or, you know, yeah. why whatever pressures there are, just be consistent in understanding that it is your personal journey mm. with your child. Mm. Nothing else matters. Mm. No one is right. No one is wrong. Yeah. And how? And I think as Batswezi and Bomme, we unfortunately are always put under the pressure because everyone knows everything. Yeah. Everyone yeah. has yeah. advice yeah. about yeah. which formula is wrong, oh, which, which is yes. right. Oh, yes. So um, it's very important to um, protect your peace. Yeah. Protect yourself. Yeah. Shut out the noise. Yeah. It's a very difficult time. Mm. It's a very difficult time. We have, yes. you know, postpartum depression. Yes. Some of those things are yeah. actually because of all that the noise. noise. Right. The yeah. noise. Yeah. And I think for me, that's what I appreciated about my journey yeah. was that I had a lot of solitude. I yeah. had a lot of peace. Yeah. I had a lot of quiet time to myself yeah. with my child. Okay. That's all that matters. Yeah. We are modern moms. I'm sure, Mom, hope we have the similar story. It's Zahore. After six weeks after I gave birth. I had to go back to work. Six mm-hmm. weeks after Rainy was here, you had to go right, to work. Yeah, right, Let's yes. talk about those moms who are working mothers. By yes. I have no choice but to go back to work. Like there were there were times where Nema was more closer to her dad because the dad was there and yeah. I was not there. I was yeah. working. Yeah. So sometimes I, I I'm even struggling even now with the guilt of <gasps> yeah. I have to go to Lesotho for a gig and I don't have time to spend with Nema, but I have to work. Yeah. Advice yeah. to those moms who are working moms. <sighs> um. Look, the thing is, like, you have to work. Mm. So you deal with... uh, My mom worked. She was a nurse. Yeah. Mm. Uh, And yet I didn't feel like I missed out on her. Mm. So, like I said, it's balance once more. And not to feel guilty because you have to actually work. Mm. Um, We're in a... You know, women don't get to stay home, like before Before, right and it's okay to Mm. want that it's okay to want to work because you're not just a mom you're so many different things and a happy mom happy kid yeah you know so i think i think it's literally shutting out the noise Mm. and finding your own peace and knowing that like you're still giving of Mm. you know yourself to this person and you're Mm. still giving for you because Mm. you have to you can't neglect you either Mm. Right, mm. and sometimes the circumstances don't allow for you to yes. be home. Yeah. Um, mm. Just mm. yeah, the guilt is guilt is a useless feeling. It is, you know. Mm. It is, but it's so normal, especially in that moment where you've got a, a child or yeah. a hey, human that is hey, relying on okay. you. You feel like yeah. you're neglecting them. Yeah. It's only normal, yeah. right? Yeah. I think it's tougher for single moms because mm. um, my husband Nick he took 
fraternity leave. leave. Mm. Like I was like, dude, are you ever going back to work? Yeah. You know, he, yeah. he would not leave her yeah. side. So it kind of balances out because then yeah. they do That's experience how. the mm. love of a parent. A parent right. Yeah. Um, and the parent can come in different forms. Right. As we know, yeah. your mom or an aunt or yes. a grandmother. That's why yeah. So yes. for me, that's what I would say also to parents or moms, if you're a single mom or in general, General is that there are people out there who can assist, you know, and yeah. I think um, having the support network is very important. And yes. sometimes some of us maybe your mom is late or mm. um, or you can't get paternity leave. Mm. I think um, in this country we have some of the worst um, laws. Laws, laws, you know. Yeah. So yeah. I was very fortunate with my first one because mm. we were in the UK, and in the UK you get a full twelve month what? maternity leave yeah. 12 paid. Months. 12 months so I didn't have to go to work I didn't have to go to work so the six months it's actually a joke it it's is. a pity, right? Yes, well, you're so, yes. like getting paid so to I'm have saying, children. Nobody's paying us. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody be paying us. Nobody be paying yeah. us. But who lives well? in a community. How born? Who are how? Who are they? 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 And so, like, I think a support network has to be very wide. Mm. And if you're blessed to have people outside of just your mom yes. or your aunt or a cousin. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So the support network can be very wide. Yeah. And it's it's okay to reach out to but by Ling Hori, you know Hori they are out there to look out for you yeah. and Nwana in that moment because it is very tough. Yeah. It's and you very do tough. still feel badly. You and you still feel you're badly. not there. Yeah. You're you not know, there. But, and if yeah. you're breastfeeding yeah. mom yeah. now you're engorged but you're engorged I remember now when my mom came to help me and Hannah Tamaya. I've never cried like that. Because I guess she was there and helping me. Ne? And then I remember the garage ka remote because um um Uber neto molata misa airport. Ah. Kilile because I'm like I'm left with this little person. Yeah. You know, and yeah. it was so it was so difficult. And and bef yeah. before I didn't have a, 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 a I'm sure I got the a nanny three months after because I also had trust issues. You go on social media or I was so paranoid yeah. when my mom left. I think yeah. I didn't understand that. In what depression you spoke about? The post. Yeah, post I didn't postpartum. understand. I think I went right. through it for for two weeks yeah, because right. I was like, I'm left with this child. Well, my, my mom God. died after like a, a e. year after. Not e. even a year. Like uh, Annie was born in April, and then she died in December. So I I know how you cried because for me it was like a final loss, and I didn't know what the hell I was doing. You know, I had no cooking clue. I was just like, oh my god, this little creature, I have to talk to you now. But but also something that we don't talk about is that as much as you know, it's so helpful to have me situations. Well, now you are learning. You are mother. You need to create your relationship with your baby. That's why that's why the baby is crying. Google is saying something something else. Also as much as we get the help from Maholo, they want to take over. They want to take over. So now you need to negotiate to say actually who do you listen to? Thank you. Who do you listen to? Thank you for the help. But actually I want to breastfeed my child exclusively. next time in two months. That's why I Mm. Oh, you are worried. Why? Why Allah? Because she's yes. hungry. Yes. Okay, she says. So if I, I think modern mom yeah. motherhood is different it's because easier. back then you would just shut your mouth yeah. and just accept her. Oh my God, I was so childish. I was really happy for my mom to die. <laughs> <laughs> and she's a nurse. So, dude, you know, she was a nurse. Always. So I was just like, shit, mm. yes. do it. You do it. Bon. Take her. You know? <laughs> <Do it. laughs> so, did. ladies, I have a little game. Yes. Yes. Oh, my my sip. Sip. She's asking sipping, guys. Oh, gosh. Okay. okay. 
<laughs> All right. Like, uh, the, the name of the game key, mm-hmm. who would? Ne? Mm-hmm. So let's shoot pan up. Let's point and I'm on it. Okay, who would? Okay. okay. Oh. Is this between myself hey, and hey, who would, who's, the three who, of who us? The, or, all of us? or just the two of us? Just the two of you. Oh, the two oh, of us, okay. yes. I wish I could join. Come I wish. <laughs> I'm not going to know who's going to ask the questions. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. The first question I want to ask. Okay, let's say, who is always late? Alala. <laughs> At least I'm honest. <laughs> who would be the one to go more crazy if they won a lottery? I think that would be you, dude. Why? Okay. 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 Who would be the first to comfort anyone with junk food? Junk food? Junk food. Oh, shoot. You're right. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Ah, why am I fat then? <laughs> <laughs> Who would be the okay. first to show the young kids a thing or two about ah dancing? Me. I ah, I have no, 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 no. The person you. is you. Yes. Unfortunately, you're not in this game. Yes, Wait, that's not you. Okay. So for those who are watching, well, it's laugh her. Together, we okay, it's me. We laugh at each other. We don't know how to dance. <laughs> that's you. Okay. Yes. Who is more patient with kids in general? In yeah. Hey, I'm going to elaborate. I'm going to do well. It is well with my soul. <laughs> so let's say, for example, um, if there were like teenagers who just decided to hang around the street, ne? Mm-hmm. they're smoking, they're drinking homo nut. Yeah. Who would be the first to tell them to move? Me. Ah. <laughs> wow. What? That was... Um, that was me. Passionate. When? 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 Oh, nah. Probably we go join she'd be, them. She'd be chill. She'd be <laughs> like, go oh, join I them. <laughs> Y'all would join them. I would be the disciplinarian. I'd be the boring auntie. Yes. Okay. So I think that was a very clear me. <laughs> very. Okay. Yo, that very me was strong, me. hey? Okay, <laughs> the last one. I gave a mampo sent me a DM about the, get the BRICS. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Summit if one of the BRICS leaders ne, yes. and their security is just stopped, Maybe go front door when they're fixing your vehicle or whatnot. Mm. Who would tell them to move and how? Me. That would be you. Totally. Okay, she how? Care. How would I tell them? Okay, well, I, like, uh, I, 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 action. Action. Can you move your motherfucking vehicle? Yeah! For <laughs> Say it again. Your motherfucking Say vehicle. It again. Take two. <laughs> Take two. And three, two, one. Action. action. Can you move your motherfucking vehicle from my household? Woo! That's right. Drop mic. <laughs> Ladies, I had so much fun. We had fun. Sisterhood had is fun. important. Did you have fun? We had fun. We had fun. We had fun. We had fun. But the director is looking at us. Yeah. He's in front of us. I know. Thank you. I love talking. Like, um, any last words that you would like to say to the viewers out there, especially the moms? Just last word from Komozo, last word from Mampo. Take it, man. And the they must all understand. <laughs> English, please. <laughs> Go for it. Oh, am I starting? Yeah. yeah. Wow, my goodness. Motherhood journey is not easy. Um, motherhood journey has its ups and downs. But um, ultimately, it's about you and your child mm-hmm. and your family. Ultimately, you'll get a lot of advice. Take the advice that is worth taking. But also grow in your selfhood as a mom. You know, we only become moms when we have kids. Yeah. Before you have a child, you're not a mother. And so the journey is a journey you walk on your own a lot of times. Yeah. And that's okay. And it's very difficult. <clears throat> Accept the challenges and don't be hard on yourself. Yeah. Love yourself in that yeah. journey. Yeah. Love your mistakes. Yeah. Accept your mistakes as you grow. It's okay. Yeah. I think as moms, we don't tell ourselves a lot of times that it's, it's okay. okay. Number one, it's okay. And it's going to be okay. okay. Yeah. And that um, a healthy mom, as you said, is a healthy yeah. child. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think um, ultimately we forget that. Mm-hmm. That in not taking care of ourselves as moms, as mothers, as people, we're then un- unfortunately then not taking care of what we bring out to the world as yeah. we raise our kids. Mm-hmm. That's very important. Your health emotionally, psychologically, yeah. is so important and shapes the kind of parent you can be yeah. to a child. 
Yeah. True. That was DP. Very beautiful, Mm, beautiful, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think what I would say is that there's no such thing as a perfect parent. So you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to strain yourself trying to be because you're you're just not. Um, But love the process and enjoy the fact that you are literally pouring into this human, like you're doing the most important job. I don't think it is emphasized enough yes. how important being a parent is because mm. you're actually contributing to society, mm. whether that kid is going to be a psychopath or serial killer or not, yeah, right? Yeah, and then she laughs. <laughs> but you are literally doing the most important job that you will ever do yeah. and cut yourself some slack yeah. and just love because there is no greater love than the love of a child yeah. that, you know, they, they forgive you so, they so do. easily and just oh. like, they're the most beautiful creatures mm. to behold. And like mm. every single child is like, for me, the representation of God, Absolutely. you know, like it is, is literally the visual. Yeah representation of who god is so enjoy it and and just revel in it and seriously cut yourself some slack Mm -hmm. yeah oh thank you ladies i had so much fun thanks for coming and thanks for being my bestie thank you bestie cheers to mommy diary cheers to mommy diary thank you so much to everyone watching i'd like to thank the crew amp studios my beautiful guests mampo and komoto please do follow me on social media pasi underscore kwetle and mommy diaries by pasi and subscribe 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 press the button somewhere Sus- yeah, and subscribe, and, subscribe. Yeah. and i'm also dressed in uzuri secret oh yeah, yeah. Yes. thank you uzuri secrets by Bassy. Yes, girl. <laughs> Look at you, Miss Business Woman. Bona. Like just rocking it up, girl. All the <laughs> You'll never cry for chips again. I never. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.